Hello and welcome to Round Rock High School for tonight's matchup against the visiting Vista Ridge Vipers and your Lady, your Round Rock Lady Dragons. I'm Adam Johnson and I'll be your play-by-play -play analyst for tonight. You're watching Round Rock Volleyball on the KMAC Sports and Vibe Media Network. We uh, got late notice that this was an early start match, uh, so it was fortunate that uh, we made it here on time to at least get the audio portion up. We're going to be working on the video. Uh, even though you won't be able to see it tonight, you'll be able to view it later on after, it's, after this match has been played. So you're just going to be listening to a lot of audio tonight by me. And uh, we're just about ready to get started to play. And Kaylee Linton is going to be starting the serving off for Round Rock. Tough serve right off the bat. Sarah Kylan just misses that ball. Oh boy, that was that was close. That was close, right down the line, almost. Right back to serve for the Vipers. Perfect pass at the net, blocked up. And we're going to get a lift call off the block. Wright continues to serve. Her team's leading 2-0 early in this first game. Perfect pass by Linton. And Lauren Malone with the inside two set from outside. Bombing away. That's Lauren's first kill for the evening. Caitlin Kubala will be back, or excuse me, Yasmina Kadich will be back to serve, and that serve goes into the net. First missed serve tonight for Round Rock. Perfect pass by Plummer. Inside, coming down. I even got to touch this ball. I've got some good, good, good juju on it. Sarah Kylan going back to serve. And I believe that was Lauren Malone with the kill in the middle once again. Tough serve by Sarah. Tice that great dig. And it looks like after my touching the first time we got the point, I got to touch that ball again. Stanhouse just coming under the net for the Vipers. Kylan continues to serve. Another tough serve, an ace. Ace by Sarah Kylan. So that negates the miss serve already for Round Rock. Sarah continues to serve. Another tough serve. Can only go one place. Stanhouse high off the block of Sellers and Malone. Stanhouse will go back to serve for the Lady Vipers. Set going outside. Adams, all she can do is keep that ball in play. Malone on the outside. Is she going to get a touch? And she gets a touch off the block for her third kill of the evening. There seems to be a little argument going here that uh, one of the line judges from uh, Round Rock called a touch on the ball, and the other one did not. Malone back to serve. Tough serve coming over the net. And Kylie Linton on the overpass with her first kill of the evening. After that tough serve by Lauren Malone. Another tough serve by Lauren Malone and another ace. Ooh. 
Round Rock with their second ace early in this game. Round Rock leading 7-4. to four. Tough pass. Set has to go outside. Ooh, what an angle there by Wright on the left side. Just crushing angle. Catching Round Rock off guard. Mokri enters the game for Vandegrift as Dilfer back to serve. And Kylie Linton being really cagey right there with her second kill of the evening. Kind of an inside set. Had to get to it and just smoothed it over the net into the court. And we're going to get our first timeout from Vandegrift tonight. Let's get caught up on a few things because we did start uh, a little bit late. Or, well, we didn't start late. Uh, we just didn't get to tell you about everything. Tonight's matchup against these two. Vandergriff comes in 8-2, and two, leading the division. Round Rock is in fourth place at 8-3. and three. So this is a very, very important game for Round Rock. If uh, Round Rock takes this game 3-0, uh, they have a great opportunity going through if both teams win out to be the uh, number one team in their division if they beat Vista Ridge, which they play at home. And Westwood loses one other match to somebody. So those are just a few little things to catch up on. And we're back here. Jolie Plummer the lefty knuckleballer to serve. Nice pass by Santos in the back row. Plummer with a great dig. Tip right over the block. Kadich. Oh, Kadich kept up. Nice play. Little scrappy by Round Rock. Set going outside by Wright. And Wright high off the block of Kadich and out of bounds. Grace Adams, Yasmina Kadich, and uh, Kaylee Linton in the front row for Round Rock. And that will go right into the net. That will go right into the net by Wright. Grace Adams back to serve. Tough serve, eight. And that is, third, that is the third ace of the evening for Round Rock. They've really come out firing some bullets. Inside set, dug up in the back row. Somehow kept over, but they're calling a double play, double, double hit on uh, Kazmina Yadich. I don't know about that. I think that was kind of a little bit of a ricochet off her hand, but needless to say. Point goes to Vandergrift. Egedy Santos back to serve for Vandergrift. A little miscue by Round Rock. Easily dug by Vandergrift. And unfortunately, Round Rock can't handle the smooth shot by by Green on the right side. Set going outside to Sarah Kylan. Dug up. She's going to get another opportunity, but maybe not. Sarah Kylan into the block and dug up. And we're going to see our first timeout by Coach Watson tonight. Her team's still leading 10-9. to nine. Again, very, very important game tonight. Vandergriff taking a four-set match. Last time they played at Vandergriff after Round Rock came out and beat him in the first game pretty decisively. If I'm not mistaken, the, the score was, I think, 25-17, but proceeded to lose the next three sets so 
This is a little bit make of a makeup game for Round Rock. They definitely need, both teams need it, but uh, Round Rock definitely needs this one to get the advantage for the rest of district play over Vandegrift. Each team has taken one timeout already. And Egedy Santos continues to serve for Vandegrift. Malone with a nice pass. Kadich. Kadich with a slide. They haven't been connecting too well the last few matches on that. She's really trying to hit that ball, the cutback, back into the uh, right corner when she can just crush that thing down the line or in the middle of the court. She's trying a little too much. And Santos with a miss. Round Rock ahead by one, 11 to 10. Kaylee Linton back to serve for Round Rock. Back row attack for Vandegrift. Malone had to get on that, get on her horse to get in, get that set. That set was set way inside. Those are the kind of plays that you got to just keep in play, give your defense another opportunity. And Malone just couldn't get that one over the net. 11 all. Stevens back to serve for Vandegrift. Plummer with a perfect pass. Tight set going outside. Egedy Santos setting that ball well outside the intent and over out of bounds. Point's going to go to Round Rock. Yasmina Kadich back to serve. She missed her first one, but made up for that one. That's going to be kept in play. Round Rock should get a point out of this one. Malone on the right, on the left side, not yet. And Stanhouse in the middle, finishing that one off. Green back to serve, all tied up. Back set to, oh, what a dig by Santos down the line. Ball kept in play. Great defensive play by Round Rock. Stanhouse. <laughs> Green continues to serve for Vandegrift. The lead is one. 13-12, Vandegrift. Inside set, another great dig by Santos. He's on fire. Oh, Malone right back at you with a dig. Sarah Kylan going deep corner. Not yet. And it looks like Dilfer is going to be called under the net. Or under the net, I should say. Excuse me. Apparently she's saying no. I wasn't all the way under. We're all tied up here. 13 apiece. Sarah Kylan back to serve. Vandegrift running a 5-1 offense, so Dilfer, their setter, is front row setter, so she can go up and hit the ball, tip the ball over, whatever she wants to do. And that's something that uh, Round Rock needs to look at, but uh, Stanhouse goes high off the block of Malone and Sellers out of bounds. And Stanhouse will go back to serve. Malone with a nice pass. Set off the net a little bit. Malone just tattooing, and I mean tattooing, the defense green in the back. But green comes right back with a back row attack of herself, by herself, and down. Vandegrift taking a two-point lead. And Malone with a tight, tight pass to the net. Sarah Kylan can't get to it. And now we have a three-point lead for the Lady Vipers. 
Round Rock just needs to settle down and get one pass and one side out. Nice little pass right there. Back set to Malone on the right side, dug up. Set going outside to right, and right puts that one down past Round Rock block, and that's three points in a row maybe, maybe four. Should be 17, 13, which it is. Little dis, what? Oh, that was a great save. That was a great save by, by <laughs> the outside hitter, Grace, to keep that ball in play. I don't know. And Coach Watson, Coach Watson's not real happy about that play. I don't, I'm not real happy about it either. Uh, that was a great save by Grace Adams, keeping that ball in play. The re down referee, down referee saw that, and she calls it good. Interesting stuff going on early in this game. The down ref definitely saw the, the proper call and is calling it good. The up ref thinks he saw something different. But uh, from our angle over here, it looked good. And unfortunately, you're going to get bad calls here and there. And that's uh, where you're going to see teams rise and fall uh, e either, either, either way. Round Rock... Round Rock down by five. Eight, they trail 13 to 18 in this first game. Stanhouse back to serve for Vandegrift. Set in the middle with Sellers. Sellers barely get on that ball. Dug up in the back row. Looks like Malone's going to get a... A shot at it, but she hits that ball out of bounds. Another point to Vandegrift. Looks like Round Rock is uh, stuck in this rotation here. And Round Rock's really looking like they are not all in right now. They're having some trouble in this rotation. They've lost... Six points now. And it doesn't seem to be getting any better for Round Rock right now. And Stanhouse continues to serve. Seven points in a row for Stanhouse. As yeah, Brooke. Brooklyn Johnson comes in for Sarah Kylan in the back row to get out of this passing funk that they're in. And just that one little maneuver right there made the server serve out of bounds. 21-14 is the score as Lauren Malone goes back to serve. Set's got to come outside. Right on the left, puts that ball down inside the block. And substitution for Brown Rock. Needy Earns coming in in the middle for Sellers. Dilfer back to serve for Vandergrift. Perfect pass by Johnson in the back row. Outside to Linton, and Linton puts that ball down. Linton with the hot hand tonight. That's her third kill of the evening. As Yasmina Kadich checks back in in the middle to prowl the net. Plummer back to serve. Plummer's got to get on a little bit of a serving roll right here. And that's a good start right there. Out of system play. Free ball coming over for Round Rock. And down goes a nice dump. 
Grace Adams, that's the way you want to dump. Usually Grace and uh, Sarah are in the uh, back row and they have to hit it, they have to basically set it over. That one, Grace, Grace Adams is in the front row. She had all the time in the world to go up above the net and basically throw the ball down. So that was a good play by uh, Grace Adams. And it looks like Emma Young is going to check in. And Kaylee Linton will take a breather. Plummer with a one-handed stab. That ball might have been going out of bounds. She wasn't sure. Shakes that ball into the net, or excuse me, into the uh, stands. And that brings up our first set point to be ushered in by Wright. Wright with a tight serve. Somehow, Grace Adams, the pancake, keeps that ball alive. Set going outside, and Grace Adams almost being able to get back and block that ball. And that's the first game. Not the way Round Rock wanted to start for sure. Losing that game 16 to 25. I'm sure uh, Coach is going to be talking to him uh, about that and you're going to see a different Round Rock uh, team come out for the second game. We'll take a break right now. You're watching, excuse me, you're listening to Round Rock Volleyball on the KMAC Sports and Vite Media Network. At Austin Pets Alive, the mission is to promote and provide the resources, education, and programs needed to eliminate the killing of companion animals. That means more happy pets joining more happy families every single day. In fact, Austin Pets Alive has saved more than 25,000 dogs and cats since 2008. And you can help adopt a new family member, help out with a donation, or roll up your sleeves and volunteer. If you have love, time, or money to spare, we all have at least one of those, you're needed. Visit AustinPetsAlive.com com to get started. Austin Pets Alive, helping people help pets. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. At KMAX Sports, we work hard to provide quality professional broadcasts to make it easier for the booster clubs with whom we work to find sponsorships. We ask that you please patronize these advertisers and thank them for supporting your team's broadcasts. You can help your booster club fund the broadcast by simply clicking on the donate button on kmaxsports.com. And if you're a fan of the other school, you can show your appreciation for tonight's broadcast by making a donation as well. Thank you in advance for your support. And now, let's take you back out to the game. Ah, spring. The time of year when a young man's fancy turns to... Lay ball! And KMAX Sports will be there for every game of the 2018 season. From the first pitch to the final out. High school baseball and softball. College baseball and softball. And pro baseball and softball. So for the most, the most, the most coverage of 2018 baseball and softball, look to the leader. KMAX Sports. KMAXSports.com socialize with us. Yeah, man, I'll tell you what, that dang old internet, man, you just go on there and point and click, 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 click. It's real easy, man. On Twitter, at KMAX Sports, or catch us on Facebook. Search KMAX Sports. Just another way KMAX Sports is bringing your teams to you. This is the KMAX Sports Network. And we're back after the side switch. Round Rock looking like uh, they weren't prepared for that first set somehow. Uh, I got a feeling the second set's going to be a lot better. Sometimes uh, I guess they have homecoming tonight. That might be on their mind or something like that, but you never know. Uh, but they definitely, definitely need a little fire here. Looks like we have the usual suspects. Uh, we have uh, needy years starting for Round Rock in this game. Everybody else seems to be the same. Same starting unit out there for Vandegrift as well. It's pretty.
pretty quiet in the gym right now. And uh, Egedy Santos to start it off for the Lady Vipers. Somehow that set did not get called. And Stanhouse right down the line on the slide. They're keeping the excitement on their side for sure. Round Rock still doesn't look like they've come out of their, uh, their funk yet. And we've got... Uh, Natalia Perry is going to be doing the libero this set. Negative Santos with a tough serve and Round Rock having trouble once again on the pass. Not the kind of start you want to see in the second set for uh, Round Rock. Trying to get out of this first rotation and get into a little groove. Round Rock saying, we're having none of that, and another ace. Three, zero. Round Rock really excited, but uh, Coach does not like what she sees already at three, zero, and she's taking her first time out. And we'll take a time out as well. You're watching. Excuse me, you're listening to Round Rock Volleyball on the KMAX Sports and Bite Media Network. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. At KMAX Sports, we work hard to provide quality professional broadcasts to make it easier for the booster clubs with whom we work to find sponsorships. We ask that you please patronize these advertisers and thank them for supporting your team's broadcasts. You can help your booster club fund the broadcast by simply clicking on the donate button on kmaxsports.com. And if you're a fan of the other school, you can show your appreciation for tonight's broadcast by making a donation as well. Thank you in advance for your support. And now, let's take you back out to the game. This is the KMAX Sports Network. We're back, and Egedy Santos continues to serve for Vandergrift. Round Rock just trying to get out of this rotation. Sarah Kylan on the right side. That doesn't go down. Free ball coming over for Vandergrift. And Green hits the ball into the net. And there's some noise from the Round Rock side. Yasmina Kadic back to serve. Her team trailing 1-3 to three in this second set. Nice serve by Yasmina. Dug in the back row by Yasmina, but Sarah Kylan just couldn't get to that ball. Points going to uh, Vandegrift. Mokri on the right side on that one, just tattooed her in the chest. And uh, Stevens back to serve. Tight pass. Kept in play by Yours. Slide by Stanhouse. Stanhouse having a heyday tonight against Round Rock on that slide. Just out of the outstretched reach of Natalia Perry. 5-1, Vandergriff ahead. And Ky Kaylee Linton into the net. Back row attack, just got to keep those balls in play if you don't have a great uh, set on the ball. Linton with a nice pass. Sarah Kylan and dug in the back row by, by Stevens. And finally put down by Lauren Malone on the right side and she's got her fourth kill of the evening. She leads Round Rock with four. Kaylee Linton has uh, three, and nobody else has any kills. That's kind of uh, interesting. A lot of balls kept in play. Vandegrift playing some great defense tonight so far. Stackhouse touched up at the block, set outside to Malone, and Malone gets blocked 
by Dilfer. Stanhouse getting a hand on that as well. And Green hits that serve out of bounds. It's close. We got, it's like Bailey Johnson coming in in the back row. She'll be going back to serve. And Abby Kylan, the senior, will be uh, doing some hitting on the outside. Right on the left side, hitting that ball past Sarah Kylan and down. Just not getting over the net quite quick enough to seal that net. Stackhouse back to serve. Tough serve. And she's going to get an ace. Stanhouse. That might be her second or third ace of the evening. There's a little, there's a little uh, excitement on the Round Rock side. The team down five points. If you're out there listening, we'd love to hear from you. You can text me at 512-786-2605. Ask me any volleyball question you might have. Ask me what's uh, really going on out here. Love to hear from you guys. Love to hear from where you're listening. As Yasmina Kadich. On the right side, dribbles that ball over for her first kill of the evening. <laughs> Natalia Perry back to serve, tough serve. Set going outside, great dig in the back row by Johnson. Abby Kylan about 15 feet off the net and hits that one into the net. Got another interesting rotation right here for uh, Round Rock, one I haven't seen. Looks like Grace Adams is going to be doing the setting, and they're going to be in the 5-1 position. I mean, she's front row. Set outside to Abby Kylan, high off the block, dug up in the back row. And right again on the left side, off the block of Grace Adams. And it looks like... El Cassidy is going to be coming in, play a little bit of right side, see if they can't shut down right on the uh, right side. And a tough, tough, tough serve for uh, Round Rock by Dilfer, unable to hold that or pass that ball. Round Rock trailing 5-12 to 12 in this second game. And ace, almost an ace serve. And and Round Rock really not looking like the Round Rock that we're uh, known to be watching play. They've they're really looking at each other. Nobody's talking out there. That this uh, this Vandegrift Viper team has just come in the gym and basically taken over, playing some great defense and really. Silencing Round Rock. Next play. And Mokri on the X play coming around, putting that ball down. Substitution in for Round Rock. Meredith Eddy checking in in the back row. Dilfer continues to serve her team up 14 to 5. And Dilfer hits that one into the net. Grace Adams is going to be checking back in, serving. She's been known to go on a uh, serving spree. I've seen a bunch of them where she's got five, six, seven points in a rotation.
Set going outside to right, dug up in the back row. Abby Kylan smoothing one over the net and kept in play. Sister Sarah puts one down for a point from the right side for her first kill of the evening. Adams back to serve. Her team trailing 7-14. Tough serve. Got some good juju over here. We got that ball again, so we'll see if we get another point on that. 8-14 round rock. The mini little comeback right now. Grace Adams continues to serve. And that ball's not going to go over the net. Mokri hit it top of the tape for Vandergriff, and we've had a timeout called by Vandergriff. We'll take a timeout as well. You're, you're listening to Round Rock Volleyball on the KMAC Sports and Vibe Media Network. Purchase a copy of this or any KMAC broadcast for personal use and portions of the proceeds go to your school. Whether you're making a highlight video or just want to be able to enjoy this game years in the future, send us a note to info at kmaxsports.com. That's I-N-F-O at kmaxsports.com. We can even do some editing for you for a small fee. Purchase any broadcast for personal use. Hit us up. Info at kmaxsports.com. Bringing your teams and your highlights to you. We are KMAX Sports. From West Texas all the way to the bio and all points in between. I saw miles and miles of Texas. All the this is the KMAX Sports Network, the bringing your teams to you. This is the KMAX Sports Network. And we're back. I'm Adam Johnson, and you're uh, listening to Round Rock Volleyball on the KMAX Sports and Vibe Media Network. Grace Adams continues to serve, and another ace. So Round Rock getting a mini, mini run here. Grace Adams starting off, like I said earlier, she's able to do this sometimes. Back set, great dig by Grace Adams in the, in the back row. Tight set. Sarah Kylan out of bounds. What a great play. Smart play by Sarah Kylan. Set way inside, just tools the block out of bounds for a point. 11 14, they trail. Grace Adams continuing to serve. Oh, almost dug up there. Oh, we have a nice listener down in uh, New Braunfels checking in. Caitlin Johnson just happens to be my daughter. Saying some nice things down there. Listening to dad. Says he's doing such a fabulous job. Now I'll probably get a text saying she didn't say that. Abby Kylan with a little roll shot in the middle. Picked up in the back row. Plummer right there to dig that one back. And Abby Kylan puts one down on the outside for her first kill of the evening. And Kaylee Linton back to serve, as I said. Oh, yeah. No, she didn't say anything. She just said, nice shout out. Perfect pass. Set going outside by Sarah Kylan on the outside. Putting that ball down. Sarah Kylan registering her second kill of the evening. Kaylee Linton continues to serve. Her team trailing by two, 13-15. Nice serve. Set's got to go outside. Dug up in the back row by Round Rock. Set coming outside to Sarah Kylan. Down the line, dug by Dilfer in the back row. Looks like Round Rock's going to get another opportunity here. Real tough shot by Malone. Just puts it down over the block. Point, Round Rock. Really tough set for Malone to hit right there. That ball coming right over on the right side. That ball coming right over her head. She had a roll shot that thing right in the middle of court for a point. Perfect. Linton continues to serve. Seth's got to go outside. And Green attempts to tip that ball. That ball